Melina here at Tanami Design and today I'm going to be bringing you a video showing you how to create a card from start to finish within 10 minutes. This week Tanami Design is sponsoring the 10 minute craft dash and I wanted to show you how easy it is to create items within the 10 minutes. Um, you just take a little bit of preparation and thought and then you can create your own little projects. So this week the color palette we have is a navy blue a sky blue and then craft and then of course you can use any kind of neutrals so you can pull out your supplies beforehand and then we're gonna get started so for the craft dash I just ask that you have a timer nearby so you can keep track of your time and we're gonna get started right now so for my card base I'm using a piece of brown craft cardstock and I'm just folding that right in half then for the next part, we are going to be cutting down our navy cardstock. And this one is going to be measuring four by five and a quarter. Okay, and then our white cardstock, we are cutting that down to three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. Okay, and now let's get started on stamping our white piece of paper. So for our white, we're using the snowflake image from the ornamental centerpieces. I'm just gonna lay that down. And then we are using the Majestic Blue VersaFine ink. So I'm just going to be stamping that all across this image. So I'm gonna get a piece of scratch paper And the best way to do this for the 10 minute craft dash is to use colored inks. So you don't have to worry about markers and coloring everything in. The colored inks are the way to go to do cards and projects really quickly. So just going to stamp this all around this panel here. Okay, so there is that. And then now we're going to adhere that to our navy cardstock. Okay, and then we're going to adhere that to our brown craft cardstock. So the best way to do this is with the ATG gun because it's really quick and simple. You don't have to worry about a lot of little adhesive sticking all over the place. Okay, next we're going to get a piece of sky blue cardstock, which is pretty much just a light blue. And I'm going to cut that down to six eighths of an inch. And then I'm going to do my little indentations that I tend to do a lot. And that's going to be for our sentiment there. Okay, so then I'm just going to figure out where exactly I want my sentiment to lay. So I'll do that, and then I'm just using my fingernail to make a mark and cutting that right there. Okay, perfect. And then now I'm just going to be stamping my sentiment. So I'm going to be using the same blue ink that I was using earlier. And I'm using the F-164 Happy Holidays. So there's that. And then now we can adhere that. So I already just have a piece of foam tape here. And I like using the foam tape just because it is really quick and you don't have to worry about taking off all the different kinds of backings. Okay, so there's that. And then now we're going to add our ribbon. So I'm using a piece of navy grain. I'm just going to create a bow. I'm just going to forewarn you, bows are always harder when you're doing it on camera, so bear with me. Okay. 
Okay, and then you can just play with it and get it perfect. You'll just want to make sure the middle is nice and tight. Okay, so there's that. And then I'm going to cut off the ends. Okay, so there's that there. And then now I just need to add some rhinestones. So I'm using some of the baby blue rhinestones and I'm going to be using the largest size and then the medium size just so it has a little variation in the sizes. And I use the ones that already have adhesive so it doesn't take any extra time applying glue. That's another tip I would just highly suggest you get things with the adhesive on the back. And I'm just adding these to all the middles. Okay, so we are finished. Five minutes and 26 seconds from start to finish on this card. So if you wanted to add a little bit of variation for this card, you can actually rotate this. Um, you would do the bow obviously a little bit differently and then you can do your sentiment going this way. Um, it, that it just adds a little bit of variation to your cards. I mean, also this is a great card. It's a, you know very simple, so you can easily change out the colors. So if you wanted to do something besides the navy blue, you can add maybe a red, and so it'd be a red and blue and craft kind of card, which is really in right now. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and that you will try to take um, a little bit of time and participate in the challenge. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye bye.